hello everyone god bless you god bless everyone out there thank you so much for joining me on my youtube tonight once again if it's the afternoon you watch it or in the evening anytime you watch it you are so welcome to watch my video to be here i do really appreciate you all in the mighty name of jesus please if it's your first time come across my video don't forget to hit the button of subscribe. I do really appreciate your subscribing. There. Thank you so much. So much. Those that already subscribed to my YouTube, God bless you all. Thank you so much. I do really appreciate you all for your subscribe, for your comment, for your like, for your sharing in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the button of subscribe. Not just watch it and pass by. It's not difficult to subscribe. Just look below down the video you will see there the button of subscribe you just press it that is subscribe it's finished you are not going to pay for it i thank you so so much for subscribing to my youtube god bless you god bless you god keep you god rebuild every devil right on your way on my youtube page here yeah, before anything we are not going to stay long it's just a short video for a, a message from god from god for me to give to you don't ignore the message it's going to bless you even though i you get the message or i someone share it to you or i share it to you it may not be your yours it may not for you but don't delete it try please try to share it to someone else that need it thank you so much and god bless you as you do so on my youtube here before we start anything we always pray to commit ourselves and commit the viewer our commit subscriber and those that we still wanted to subscribe we commit everything into the hands of god we cover them with the blood of jesus we always pray bible say pray without season it's good to pray never ignore prayer no never ignore prayer Heavenly father we thank you king of glory we thank you jehovah Shadow. we thank you as well by to start this program oh god father i thank you for your words i thank you oh god for the people that the words will be blessed out there oh god thank you lord because we know what every individual is passing through oh god father lord jehovah almighty never turn your back away from them oh god be merciful for anywhere that we all are sin against you oh god have mercy on us oh god hear our prayer here our call here our voice and hear our cry oh god let your name be glorified in every area of our life in the mighty name of jesus father thank you for filling me with your words oh god and don't let the words to be empty let everyone that hear the sound of my voice to be blessed oh god in the mighty name of jesus are they hear the words oh god that i'm going to speak oh god tonight let it bless someone out there uh, father i thank you let them have testimony for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank you so much. It's good to pray. Even though it's short or it's long, it's good to pray. Don't stop prayer. Prayer is amazing. It's only prayer. I said it before my prayer. Just short prayer I did yesterday. It's only true prayer you can use to defeat the power of the enemy. It's good to pray. It's good to pray. Don't don't commonize prayer is powerful even though you don't know how to pray learn how to worship or you just have a someone that you can get as a spiritual father as a spiritual mother to be stand with you to always pray for you it's good to always get spiritual father and spiritual mother is in the bible if you may not have power strength all those kind of stuff to pray but that is the reason you have spiritual father and your spiritual mother your pastor can be your spiritual father and spiritual mother try to do that god bless you today message is going to go to people that just come to diaspora you know especially my heart go for them that just come to diaspora and those that get married they don't have child yet they think oh they don't think they are able to bear children you know they are always can they are say oh they are barren no bible said to me to tell you that you are not barren you know the bible said there is no barren in the house of god god never created a barren person just don't lose your hope remember the life of sarah remember the life of sarah high years are long but sarah didn't give up sarah didn't give up 
Abraham didn't give up. Even though when Sarah tried to give up to lead Abraham to somewhere he don't suppose what he don't supposed to do, we thank God for God's grace and his mercy. But he still keep his faith. He didn't give up, give up no matter how long it takes in the book of Abaco chapter two. He say may delay, but when the time comes, he will speak of. Don't give up. Don't let your your spirit or your mind to tell you to oh. You think you don't think you are going to have a child? Definitely, God is going to make it make you to have your baby, to carry your baby, and uh, to hear the sound of baby cry. But my advice for men: don't say oh because you get married, those kind of stuff. No, have a, have that faith, have that faith, and be like have faith like Abraham. We are going come coming there, but the first. Thing we are going to talk about and these people that just come to diaspora for you to not give up one thing before i i start if you just come you are giving your testimony you are sending your what god is good to testify that is what god said i receive a lot a lot of testimony here on my way what's up a lot here but when you send me your testimony don't say oh mama i don't want you to play it i don't want to to play it, maybe people may recognize me or those kind of stuff. Yes, you share your testimony with me, but it's good to share it to the world. This is what the Bible said. It said when you testify, you share the word God do for you. Share it to the people world to hear it to them to know there is God that resists. It's very important place. When you do that, say, Oh mama, I don't want people to hear my voice to know it's me or those kind of stuff. No matter how God we will all have testimony. It's good to share our testimony. Okay. Today we are not going to do that. We are going to do that on Saturday in my page by God's grace to share some testimony. This particular program is going to people that just come to diaspora. If you, do, you are among of people that just come to diaspora, you are living in the camp, don't give up. Don't think, oh, you don't think that everything is going to work out for you. I said that before on my video, a long time video I did. Don't give up because I receive a lot of call every day, every blessed day. Don't give up. Don't think, oh, you're, you don't have hope again that things are not going to work out for your good. The way you meet yourself is not the way you, you plan before. Or you see, life is not your a house doesn't build in a day patient is very important bible god according to bible god that created you he said he know you for a book of jeremiah he said he know you for your mother's womb before you was born he know everything that you are going to pass through but at the end of it he said he will give you a good future a good future don't give up sometimes when someone is walking along the road you know is the journey is very very far but sometimes when it's just newly started the journey is very easy the center of the journey is a little bit weak when you want to get to the destination of that journey the devil will come to discourage him. the devil will come to bring different different talk for is he uh, telling you that you don't think you are going to make this journey but why the devil didn't come when you just start the journey no because he know that you are still you are you just started it but when you know that you are going to read the pointly the destination it, it will come be telling you try to give up try to quit try to do this but when you are you don't you are you don't have faith enough you don't really believe in god enough you may quit you may quit, but you, the rest of people that refuse to quit, you will see at the end of it, they will have testimony at the end. Now they will come out the way I come out to tell people don't give up in any situation that you are passing through. You may leave, leave your Africa or in any country that you are you in your country. You go to abroad or you go to anywhere to have your daily bread, but at the end of it, it's not the way you think, the way you find things. Things is rough, things is difficult for you. God said, I should tell you that you should not give up. Don't give up, hold on to God. Because no matter how things, no matter how things delay, 
It's not what may delay you, delay any something about you, but it can never deny your destiny. What God say you must surely become on it. When you don't give up, you will surely become on that. See the time of Israel, when the Israel are in the wilderness, ah yes, ah yes, they stay there, even though they grumble, they do a lot of stuff, but God stay with them, God still forgive them. They are saying because God loved them. No matter what, anything that you do in the past or anything, or your sin that you commit don't think don't like that be thinking, oh is it because of that sin god is punishing you is it because of that sin you did you did in the past or in time you're during the school or anything that made god to abandon god never abandon you god never he said you are the apple of his eyes he know everything that you are passing through one thing i want you to know sometimes when god want to bless you you know it's not that it is not possible for God to bless you immediately. Immediately, no. God have a reason, have season. He said everything have season. A devil is a blessing. Anything that comes from God is not just like that. Wow, immediately. No, it's only things that come wow like that is from the devil because the devil can give you anything immediately like that. But a lot of sorrow will follow it. It will not still last. It will not last, but when you, that's what Bible says in the book of Isaiah, when you pass through the water, through the river, that, he said that river will not overflow you, that water will not, that fire will not burn you. You know, he said it will walk, it will not faint, it will strengthen you. Go know everything that you are going to pass through on this earth. You bet at the end of it, when you don't give up, when you don't give up on your journey, when you don't give up on your faith, when you don't give up in that camp that you are living right now, that it may be not only you is sleeping in that one room right now, maybe a lot of people is there with you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Just hold on to God. That is the word God said in the book of Isaiah. Say he will always be with you. No matter how the circumstance, how the situation. He said, but at the end, he will give you a good future. He will give you a good future. You will have everlasting joy and testimony that you will come out to come out there. You will share the word of God to the world to say, oh, this is a miraculous thing. Our God, our Redeemer lives. Don't give up. Try to hold on, on God. Try to always. The most important thing when you are living in that camp right now, in any any country that you are living in, any country, in any country that you are living, where any situation you find yourself, don't give up. Just have it in mind that all things is going to work out for your good. Have it in mind. You see, some people today they are living big life, all those kind of stuff. They didn't give up when they come out to tell you what they passed through to achieve what they have today to become where, who where, who they are today. You will not believe it. Not things doesn't happen one night. God know oh, the most important thing you have to know. Always learn how to thank God for every situation in anything that you are passing through. Another thing, learn how to keep. Quiet and keep secret to yourself is in the Bible. It's in learn how to keep secret. When you are doing things, don't just bring it or calling people. This is what you are passing through. This is what you are, you are. This is what you are doing. This is your investment. All those kind of stuff. Bible is a, is the word of God. It said, "Let her to keep quiet. Let her to keep silent. Let the thing to manifest." Before you can come out to say, oh, thank, everybody help me to thank God. That is the work of God. Anything that, even though you are in that camp, you receive letters, those kind of stuff. I've some people you just call to say all oh, this because you never know who do you trust. Who do you trust? It's only yourself you trust and God. You don't trust nobody. Nobody you trust. They may be laughing with you physically and spiritually. They are destroyer. They are, they want one thing and the other to bring your any to bring you down. They want thing and the other to make things to not work out for your good. Or one thing and the other to make things to you know to turn upside down for you. No, sometimes learn how to keep quiet, keep secret to yourself. Not just oh you receive a letter or you do anything, you go into interview or those kind of stuff, you just carry phone. Oh, this mama, papa, uncle, cousin, brother, sister, this is where I pass through to do my best friend. Who is your best friend? No, you don't have best friends. Only God is your best friend. We all have friends, but it's only God is your true best friend, you know? 
you learn how to keep some things when you see that no the person have no uh before you even open up to anybody a fellow person like you learn how to pray and ask god who this person really is definitely god will show you god will definitely show you and open your eyes sometimes we have to learn how to walk with wisdom things you know when you bring yourself come out like that something that is supposed to take two days it will take five days something that's supposed to take one day it may take 100 years why because of where what you you think you are you the way you trust yourself you trust people people may rejoice with you people may say oh this things no worry everything is going to work out for good no worry i'm praying for you no worry this this you know inside this realm of the spirit there, there may be demon you know we all have to work in wisdom is very very important to work in wisdom not everybody will just carry and put them to wrap yourself like uh, the cloth they used to cover the decker you know don't do that learn how to work with wisdom and learn how to use brain to follow everybody when you just come to diaspora go home and abroad don't just open mind open your secret to everything everybody when things are not working fine with you yet but the most important thing when you have god when you trust god when you used to surrender your life to god with two hands Everything will definitely work out for you. My dear brother and sister, don't give up. Don't give up in that situation you are passing through right now. Don't give up in that challenges you are passing through right now, in that camp, in that uh, where they keep you. Even though it's, maybe it's a lot, a village, there is no boss, all those kind of stuff. You, you say, oh, I want to misbehave. You want to misbehave to do one thing and the other. The most important, when you are living in a country that you don't really try to know the law, I always say it, try to know the law and try to keep the law. It's going to help you in future. It's going to help you in future when you know your record is very, very clean. It's going to help you. Please don't give up. I do this video because of you guys that just come to diaspora to tell you to not give up in anything that you are passing through to hold on to God, to hold on to God and learn how to work with wisdom. Like me, I don't keep enemy to nobody, but I learn how to avoid people. I avoid people. I avoid person doesn't mean it's my enemy. No. When I see that, most important thing, when I see someone, and it can be anybody, 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 I see that is a person that don't need my in spiritual realm or if it's any physical is a is not good it doesn't need my happiness he uses sweet man to i will avoid the person totally totally avoiding you know it's what you have to do that doesn't mean you keep the and many times they need your help you will surrender that help to them but you just have to learn how to give gap for some people for you to move forward in life in every area of your life oh you are you, you get married you will never have a baby you think oh why me god no god never forsake you just believe that things will work out for you god will make you to have your own child god will make you have your child he said there is no barrier in my house that god never created it you know only one thing i say have to tell you the little bit advice i get for you guys try to sometimes you never know who will even so you have people that live in europe who are even happy for you no you don't know it we have to have to learn how to keep secret i'm going to teach you about the secret thing what bible talk about secret in the bible is very, very important is in the bible bible is just like a mirror that if you're a christian try to you don't blame pastor pastor have no time to be reading all bible quotation for you for church that's why you have your own Bible by yourself. You see, you have to study Bible. When you study Bible by yourself, no one will deceive you. We know what God talk about. Just any type of situation that you are passing through that will make you to not lose hope, that will make you to not give up in every area of your life. Let me read some verses in the Bible before I of the video because I'm going to work tomorrow. The way is a little bit there. Uh, later i'm not going to do the video very long but i just come out to tell the, those that just come to diaspora for you to not give up for you to not give up for hold on or go for let tell say to yourself 
that things is going to work out for your good. You are going to get that your doc of document. You are going to get everything that God wants you to get. It may take time. It may take years. Oh, people may be building houses right now. You don't have half. People are laughing at you. Your family is laughing at you. Don't give up. <laughs> don't give up. Time will come. They will come and rejoice with you. They will come and rejoice with you. Just anything right now. Oh, they think, oh, you don't have document. The little money you are getting to send to them to help you to do something. They are eating it. They are using it to do their, do things for themselves. Don't let that thing to weigh you down, to say, oh, you want to frustrate your life because of those things. No. Just what you need to do, say, God, I thank you that I am alive. That God that provide for you before you will still do it again. That is more important in life. Let me go. If you have Bible, it's good to study Bible. If I said that before, this might pay on my YouTube. We study Bible here. We talk a lot of things here for encourage you to not give up. For you to know the purpose that God created you. We share testimony. I have a lot, a lot of testimony people bring to me. This is our two ways now on my WhatsApp a lot, a lot. But today, maybe or Saturday, by God's grace, if there is one testimony, a sister share. Oh my God, like one brother, two. But I thank God. I wanted to do that, share that testimony on my YouTube do for yesterday. But I thank God that the the problem, the everything has go and make everything to work out for to go to of uh, them. They, they forgive each other. They are happy. You know, but no. But I'm still going to talk about that little bit to advise some women. But this particular video right now is for people that just come to diaspora. For them to not give up in that camp where they are living. For them to trust God that everything is going to work out for them. Please, when you receive this video, don't just ignore it. Share it to them that just come to diaspora. For that just come to abroad. They are living in the camp. They are passing through different challenges right now. Maybe they told I don't they don't think where they are going to get the come out, those kind of stuff. Share it to them for them to hold on to God that everything is going to work out for them for good. One thing they have to learn how to keep some secret to themselves to believe with God all things will possible. Let us see the book of um, Terry. Yes, Terry. Terry. Let us read, see what God said about the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse Terry. He said, I have given you every part of the grant. Hmm that you walk upon. I promise Moses that I will do this. You see, he said, God said, I have promised you. He's not talking about Israel right now, you and me. He said, I have promised you to give you every land, every city, every place that the f your f feet are step, step on ground. God said he have given you. Why are you worried? Why are you thinking, oh, this is not going to work out for you? Oh, why you find yourself in this situation? Oh, everybody is getting documents you are not getting. Why things are like this? All things like this. He said, he have given you. That is what you have to have in your mind. No matter how delay it is, God is going to make a promise. See, heaven and earth shall pass away. You will never pass away. Don't give up. Let us see Isaiah, book of Isaiah. I'm not going to do it long. It's just 30 minutes video. Let us see book of Isaiah. Fast, fast to do it. Uh, we have to learn how to keep time. Book of Isaiah 41. 41. Verse 41, 11. Look at what he said here. Oh my God. It's very nice. He said, everybody who is angry with you, hmm, we continue to be ashamed. They will lose their good name. Those who fight you will become like nothing. And they will die. That's what the Bible said. If anyone is fighting against you, even if you look for your enemy, you will not find them. The people who fight against you will disappear. We disappear. I don't have time to read it. I'm going to read this particular verse to reach the end 
for you to understand what it means on Saturday on my page. You know, you see, look, it's everybody who is angry with you, who is working evil against you, who is planning a bad things against you, who is saying, oh, in the realm of the spirit, you are not going to achieve anything, that you are not to, going to become someone God say you want to become. He said they will die, they will become nothing. They will put in shame and disgrace. Why do you think? Say the battle is not for you. It's from the God that created you. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Even though you are a Christian, you are a Muslim right now. I'm talking to you for you to hold on. Oh God, we also are, we are created by one God. Don't give up in any situation, in any challenges that you are passing through. This I'm not doing this program only for Christian, but for Muslim and everybody that created by God, that created heaven and earth. For you to not give up in that challenges, in that situation, in anything that you are facing right now, to hold on to God. For you to believe with God, all things will work out for your good. Let us see book of Isaiah. They say Isaiah. They say Isaiah 45, 55. 54, 54, verse 4. Look at it. He said, do not be afraid. You will not be ashamed. Nobody will take away your good name. Did you see it? Hi. Wow. Let me read it again. He said, do not be afraid. You will not be ashamed. Nobody will take away your good name. You will not see to, oh my god oh my god oh my god ah, yeah i love this verse so much it's, why are you afraid why are you afraid of uh, the, the information you receive why are you afraid of rejection they give to you why are you afraid of the letter they give to you why are you afraid of the dream you dream why are you afraid of the village you come from why are you afraid of friends you you want to have quarry that was boast that raise the finger one finger or no but he raised the rest to himself that raise one finger to you say is is going to do you this and do you you see why are you afraid that is the god that created heaven and earth that created that man that woman that created those even though the demon he said why are you afraid <laughs> He said, nobody will take away your good name. Nobody will take away the word belongs to you. You don't need to be afraid. Hold on and go. In any situation right now you are passing through, in that camp, in any way, in that you're pre in prison, in deportation camp, anyway, God is going to make a way for you to make a way for you to have testimony. Those that reject you before, God will say, we turn their heart around to favor you. To favor you, to put laughter, to put testimony. Your case will turn around from today to be a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't be afraid. Hold on and God. In any situation you are passing through, that you can't tell nobody. is is eating you. He said, stop it. Let her to glorify God. Your own music on your phone. Worship. Thank God for your life. Thank God that the most important thing, you are alive. When you are alive, you have hope. You have joy. You have future. Don't give up. Don't give up in anything. Let all, we don't have time to read. Or oh, time is almost there. We got almost the verses quick quick oh i have a lot of nice verses here but i'm going to finish it on saturday let me read book of abaco abaco for you to know what god talked about about your abaco chapter two this is verse i always read i always read this let's see what that abaco said Book of Abaco chapter 2. So then the Lord respond to me and he said, Wait, write down what I have showed you to do. Make it very clear on the page. On the page where you write it. That oh well not there. Let me 
read this list right one moment just a minute this is vast it's amazing vast i'm going to read yes i find it abaco chapter two i start from three two to two i start from two say so, and the lord answered me and said write the i'm reading just now i say write the vision and make it play upon table that that he may run that read it for the vision is yet for a pointed time but it is a but at the end he shall speak and not lie through a delay wait for it that is the place i want to do here you see, prop at the appointed time we come. He said, and it not lie through a delay, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not delay. You see it. He said, these two things I want you to understand here. He said, but at the end, it shall speak peak at the end you know he didn't say at the beginning he said at the end and but at the end he shall speak and not lies god can never lie through a delay you see he may delay through a delay wait for it you see patient patient try to understand this particular place he said but at the end he at but at the end he shall speak at the end of it. He shall speak and not lie. Through a delay, he may delay, delay, no matter how delay it is. He said, wait for it. Wait for your time. Wait. Just wait for your time. Everybody have an old time on this earth because God created us in a different day. He said, because if we... He said, because it will surely come, it will not delay. That is amazing. It's a great God that we serve. is amazing God. He said, heaven and earth shall pass away. A war never pass away. It's amazing. Try to trust God. Try to believe God. This is the last verse I'm going to read because I said 30 minutes, almost, almost now, more than 30 minutes. I have to keep the time. I have to keep time. Look at what Jeremiah said. He said that the word, I said, and then the word of the Lord come unto me, saying, the word of God come to you right now, me and you saying, before I form thee in the belly, I know thee. He said, know you. And before thy comes fall out of the womb. Wow. Let me read it. Another verse that you will really enjoy it. Another translation. Wow, this is very nice. God choose Jeremiah. This is very nice. God choose Jeremiah. God choose you. Say, so God speak to me. I know you even before I made your body inside your mother's body. I choose you before you was born. I declare that you must be a prophet, a prophet to all the country in the world, he said. You see, great and powerful God, Lord, I, I said, I do not know. Jeremiah has not said, I do not know how to speak i am only a child if you read it down the lord said to me do not say i am only a child you must go to everyone that i send you to anyone i send you to you must say whatever i tell you to say you need not to afraid you need not to afraid of them 
That's where I want you to say. You need not to be afraid of them because I am with you. Why are you afraid? He said, because I am with you. See, he know you for your mother's belly. He know you before you was formed. He know everything that you are going to pass through. He know that you are going to in that camp. You are going to pass that situation. You are going to receive that letter. You are going to pass that second anything at all in your marriage, in anywhere, in anything you are facing in your challenges right now in your business. He said, I know you before you was formed. At the end of it. He said, don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of anybody that I will always be with you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He's an amazing God. We don't have too much time. We have to learn how to keep time with almost five minutes past. He said, you don't have to be afraid. Don't be afraid of anybody. Don't be afraid of that rejection. Don't be afraid of that situation. Don't be afraid of anybody that come to say, I'm going to be boast to say I'm going to do you harm. Let him know that you have our redeemer left. He said the battle is not yours. It's going to fight it for you. Don't give up. Don't give up and remain blessed. God bless you. Please, this video, share it for anyone that you know that he need it. You know, it may not for you if you know you receive the video on your e-boss. Try to share it. And as you share it, God will continue to bless you. Thank you so much and don't give up. In any challenge, in any situation, try to follow me on my page for Hope Work page. We're always there two times in a week. Try to do that. I appreciate you all for your subscribe, for your sharing. God bless you. God bless you abundantly. And put your trust in God and don't give up. No, we go all things we work out for your good in anything that you are passing through. Some things you pass through, don't let you to say to nobody, it's between you and God. God said to you that things will work out for your good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much. I have a beautiful, a beautiful day or a beautiful night or a beautiful afternoon. Anytime you watch it, I remain blessed and try to be amazing and don't cease in prayer always pray prayer is important and don't be foolish with anybody and don't surrender yourself with negative people surrender yourself with positive people and be wise bible say be wise and don't be foolish and remain blessed and god bless you all love you all in jesus name amen thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel see you next time god bless you